90. <laughs> oh my gosh. Still trying to make out what this guy is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Was that just a large mouth there? Or was... He's closer, he's getting closer now. We should be, if he jumps out of the water, maybe we'll be able to make out what he is. But that's part of the fun of fishing, you know? You don't know what's in there, it's crazy. That's what the, it's just, it's like a, I don't know, a present on a, you know, Christmas or something like that. You don't know what's in I think this is largemouth. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> oh my god! Our first- <laughs> What's going on everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub. We're playing some Fishing Planet and today we're at the Everglades, man. We're in the Everglades. It's a sunny day. We've got like, let's look at the map here. You can see we're kind of in the deep area here. This is where I guess this is kind of the salt flats or something like that. I think. I think anyway. Where kind of the bigger fish are, the tarpon and whatnot. So if you don't want to mess with them, you don't have to. But uh, it is kind of interesting there. This dude just caught something rather large, I'm guessing. He's been fighting it for a little bit there. I'll be interested to see what that is. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to tear into this. Um, yeah, I really don't have much to say. I was uh, doing some things with the crankbaits on the Naharan, and I was catching gar. I was catching flathead catfish. It was insane. Um, someone just got a four-pound peacock bass. Ignu, I guess it's that guy over there. So that's pretty cool. I'm definitely looking forward to getting a peacock bass. Uh, let's see. Let's look at our crankbaits. Really, I've only, I don't have like a dark, darker colored crankbait, and it's a sunny day, so I really don't know what to expect. But let's just throw this one out here. This is my 12 footer, so it's gonna allow us a lot of room to really play that up and down movement. Kind of look like I have a flat top going on. My hair has just been crazy with this whole thing. I've gotten a few haircuts. Oh, so this guy next to us, did he catch a unique largemouth bass? Is that what he just caught? 11 pound largemouth bass. I'd love to tear into one of those. All right, I think I'm gonna try a different lure now. Let's see, what could we use? The crankbaits and the, and the you know, the poppers really attract some larger fish. Um, so we might need to try something different just so that we don't really get into anything like that. Let's try a spinner bait. We have a spinner bait that we can try and we also have the newt. Um, as well that it should be also be black so that oh, this dude just caught it is that you that caught the snook or did you catch the bowfin you caught the bowfin okay just realized what the issue is <laughs> I never changed the time okay so let's try this again shall we let's throw this uh, spinner bait out here we might have to give the crankbait another try since we were totally fishing at the wrong time there's a ton of splashing that keeps going on right here I'm really eager to figure out what this is. You know, with these spinner baits, I've been finding that, you know, I've been having to use a lot more uh, fishing rod, like, techniques as far as, like, pointing towards the water. Oh, we nailed something there. I'm gonna raise my drag a bit. A bit there. Must be a decent sized largemouth, I would think. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it. First largemouth of, of the trip. Nice $360. That'll work. That'll work. I love the uh, the like effect of the water reflections going on the uh, cattails or whatever those are over there. That's really interesting. I can't tell if uh, that means that there's uh, a bunch of small fish or that there's a big fish chasing them or maybe just, you know, a little bit of both. You can hear my brother playing Warzone or something in the other room. I really want to give that crankbait another try now that... Now that I realize that we are during, you know, fishing in the wrong time. Alright, we got the three foot crawl now. Another thing we still haven't done is set out a pole to uh, try to get something, something a little bigger. I am interested to see what also is in the uh, store. See if the store has anything interesting. Oh, something just tried to destroy that. This might be a cool time to use the popper then. It might be really active on top. Let's do that. Let's throw this black and silver popper on. Ooh. There we go. Do you see him come and take that? I think we probably could raise drag. Yeah, drag's gonna be fine there. I just keep I keep thinking I'm gonna find a larger fish and it's just gonna, you know, destroy it. 
and I'm gonna lose it, but uh, this dude's getting in the red. Oh, this looks like a Florida Gar. It is a Florida Gar. <laughs> oh, look at this dude. 33 inch, 6.821 pounds, $348. You know, it's, it comes to this where you're thinking, oh God, do I keep it or not? But uh, that is a pretty fish. It's a really pretty fish. We'll take a we'll take a quick uh, picture here just cause just cause you know, but hopefully we catch a trophy one at some point. Um, keep it, keep it. Don't I don't know. Let's keep it. All right, just switched to a private room so I'd have a little bit more room and not have to worry about getting in front of people. I want to look at the shop real quick just to see what they have here. They have a bunch of okay, bay casting stuff. We got some crankbaits. Helios 2000. This all costs bait coins, of course. Wouldn't, have met, wouldn't, have, wouldn't want to make it too easy for us. And then we have this as well. So that's pretty interesting. There we go. We got something there. Whoa! That shot up. What did we get? <laughs> it is pulling us out. Whatever it is. It's not breaking the line, though. So that's good. Good to see. Yeah, he's pulling us out. Which is fine. It must just mean he's a good sized fish. Yeah, this must be a pretty good sized fish here. Bring us all the way out to 130, now 120. Oh, we're in the 30s. We're in the 30s. Get over here, you fish. I can see him moving just underneath the surface of the water. Oh, yeah. This is a big one. Ho, <laughs> ho, Trophy largemouth bass, seven hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> Let's look at this dude. Oh my goodness gracious! There we go. Finally getting into those giants. This dude's a toad. This is a toad right here. We had someone. Someone commented on my last video saying that a toad isn't a toad unless it's above six point five pounds. Well, here you go. Here you go, you. This is a toad. <laughs> this is awesome. This is a this is an awesome looking uh, bass here. Can we scoot over? Can you get in the light, you know? There you go. There you go, bud. All right. Top notch. First good size bass in the keeper. Lego. Okay. So we got the new the new caught something anyway. So that's good to see. Let's toss this one out again. The newt is working. Uh, I know it's not fun to look at, but I'm trying to keep, trying to keep it from um, ri rising up too much. Not sure where to put it though. Why can't I place you? It doesn't want to let me place it anywhere. You only put it on solid ground or something? Goodness gracious! <sighs> no, I don't want it way out here. Huh, interesting. It's not letting me put my darn rod stand out here. I wonder if this is the case on all the docks or just this one for some reason. There we go. Got something there. Look at that rod bend. Look at that rod bend. It's dragging us out now. It's a 90. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Still trying to make out what this guy is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Was that just a largemouth there? Or was... He's closer. He's getting closer now. We should be, If he jumps out of the water, maybe we'll be able to make out what he is. But that's part of the fun of fishing, you know? You don't know what's in there. It's crazy. That's what the... It's just... It's like a... I don't know. A present on a... You know, Christmas or something like that. You don't know what's in I think this is largemouth. Oh. Oh. No! <laughs> oh my god! Our first peacock bass! And it's a unique butterfly peacock bass! Wow. 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 I'm blown away right now. I'm blown away. Our first peacock. And of course, it's a unique of all peacocks we could have caught. Wow. This is awesome. This is awesome. He's not that big, though. I've seen I've seen videos of people catching peacocks, and, and this one seems rather small. This is still awesome. Like uh, I 
keep saying it, but it's true. It is super cool. Say hi, Nahinel. Smile. Wow, peacock bass are so pretty. It is, it is amazing. <sighs> All right, let's get one for the thumbnail. Get one for the thumbnail, peacock. Stop wiggling, stop wiggling. $957, keeping that bad boy. Ah, oh, our first catch at this dock. Wish that the stand works so that we could put some bait out for some other fish, but uh, at least we know that they're uh, catching them on this spinner bait, right? Oh, there we go, got another thing. Just another unique peacock bass. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's sunny. It's sunny, it's on the best day of fishing that you could possibly get, I think anyway, as far as fishing goes on uh, on these different maps and whatnot, you got that big bubble that you can fish on. It's one of my favorite times to go fishing on a map. Anyway, um, I think this is another peacock here. But they are liking this black and blue spinner bait here. A trophy this time. Okay. Okay, peacock. I see you. I see you in your pretty colors. And $828 just like that. Loving it. Loving it. Only been fishing for an hour and a half in the game. I've casted twice and I've caught two good fish. There we go. This one. What did we get? Just a small one? What is this thing? Oh my god, it's a trophy war map. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this dude. He was like, oh, that looks tasty. That looks tasty. I'm surprised this dude could move. Look how fat he is. Holy crap. This is a fat fish. Look at that. I'm not lying, bro. Got another peacock here. Peacock after peacock after war mouth after peacock. Good sized butterfly peacock bass there. There we go. Got something else here. Oh, yeah. This looks like a regular sized peacock here. His dragon is out a tiny bit, but I just think. They just got a little ferocity in them. Right on. Another good sized butterfly peacock. 80 experience, 81 experience, um, which is great. Seeing as I was getting like nine and 11 per large mouth back in the heron at level 27 now. There we go, there we go. Hooked him good that time. So basically, if you're wondering about my rod setup, just to give you a little more, you know, knowledge on that whole area there, I have my bait caster and I have my spin caster. And I have my bait caster set up with a Texas rig on it. And every time you switch uh, lures and that Texas rig comes off, it, it breaks it completely. And so, um, yeah, I don't like, oh, excuse me. I don't like switching out the Texas rig because it breaks it and, you know, well, that's just annoying. So basically, I just keep the Texas rig on the baitcaster and I use that for all my plastic worms and, and um, you know, uh, nymphs and uh, newts and, and, oh, everything else, craws and stuff like that. And, uh, and then this pole, I wanted to make it so that I could also um, use some heavier lures like this spinner, this spin bait here. Um, you know, if I wanted to use a, a heavy bass jig, I could also do that with this one. So it's been it's it's been working out pretty well. The pole, you know, the pole is uh, set up to only take a a certain you know uh, range of of line weights, and that's important. The other thing is that it's also set up to do. Um, certain weights of lures so that's important when you're trying to think of what kind of fish you're gonna be fishing for um, you know I'm starting to get into like the golden age the golden levels of catching largemouth and whatnot so I got this um, these two poles for the bait caster and the uh, spin casting rod and so they're great for uh, using some of the heavier lures for these largemouth um, and then they're not even that heavy they get heavier um, but it's working out pretty well so far and then, uh, of course, to to work with the line and the lures, you also need to have a good size reel um, that can also handle that uh, that line drag. Oh, this is a largemouth. Another good size largemouth here, six hundred fifty-one dollars in the bank. In the bank. Where is it? In the bank. Okay. There we go. There we go. Got this boy. Got this boy. Normal size peacock. 
normal size peacock. Riveting gameplay to watch when I'm just staring at the water, but I need that lure to stay down. Don't want it to come up. It's crazy though, I have, I've been catching so much fish back on the heron and now here that uh, I'm now having to kind of worry about the durability of my uh, rods and stuff like that because they just, they get, they're getting damaged. They're getting weakened by catching so many fish. It's crazy. Oh, oh, I had to think about that one. Please won't you place down on the dock. No decent sized largemouth. See, the thing is about this, I was wondering, my whole purpose of coming to the Everglades was wondering, you know, is it as good as everyone makes it out to be? Because it seems like everyone is just like, oh, the Everglades is the money spot. This is where you, this is where you come to make all your money. The problem is that, unless you're making a ton of money from catching largemouth and, um, and, and peacocks or something, Naharan, I was catching peak, you know, uh, large mouth and small mouth on Naharan. And so I mean, I'm using the same equipment. And uh, other than the the large, the the trophy or the, it was a trophy, the large, the really large trophy large mouth that we caught that led us all the way across this channel and everything like that. I mean, we never caught anything like that in Naharan. But other than that one, all these large mouth pretty much the same as uh, the stuff we were catching over in the heron. I mean the peacock is obviously a peacock instead of a you know instead of a small mouth like we were catching. What is it if we get snagged in something? Yep, sure enough. What do we get? Backlash with weed. There we got something. Another little large mouth. You know, but I bring up the whole thing about Naharan versus uh, the Everglades because as, you know, as a player, you know, in their 20s or something like that and you unlock the Everglades and the way people talk about the Everglades being such a, you know, a good way to make money and whatnot, if you're just in it to catch largemouth bass and smallmouth bass, um, just go to Naharan. Everglades is $7,500 to come here, maybe $7,800, I can't remember. And uh, an additional day is two thousand dollars. If you're just here to catch largemouth and smallmouth, Naharan is thirty-five hundred dollars. I want to say it's around there. Um, to go there, five hundred dollars a day afterwards. You're catching largemouth. You're catching smallmouth. I mean, I was filling up my hundred and ten pounds of, of largemouth and smallmouth in one day. So I, I don't I don't understand. It's double the amount to come here. And um, we caught a unique peacock here. Um, I caught unique smallmouths in the heron. Um, I haven't caught a unique largemouth yet, but we did catch that one. Here's a nice butterfly peacock. Um, we did catch that one trophy bass that broke my personal record, I do believe. So that was pretty cool. But basically, like I said, my whole goal of fishing here is to figure out for all of you who are working your way up and uh, and trying to figure out where you should go next is it worth spending seventy five hundred dollars to come to the Everglades or should you just fish in the heron and that's what I'm hoping to figure out here as well because I'm catching fish like I said I was catching fish in the heron as well and maybe I'm missing the whole point maybe you know the money is with the the tarpon or something like that Oh, uh, oh, 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 this is a big in right off the freaking dock here. Five pound. There we go. Got something. Little peacock. Hoo hoo. Flipped him up. Okay, should we throw one over here with these lily pads over here? Had something that gave it a little interest. There we go. There we hooked him that time. A little largemouth. Can we catch another trophy largemouth? I feel like if we just had like 12 pound line, wouldn't be able to do this. I don't know what pound of line I have. I want to say 10 pound line. God, 140. Are we on the backing now? He's just going to pull my entire line out. He's going to pull my entire reel. 
I don't think I have much more. I think he's literally gonna pull it out. Yep. Wow. That was a pretty big fish, evidently. Goodness gracious. That was an 11 pound liter, 10 pound test. What can we, this is 12. So that was the that was the problem is that my jester's only only allows 11.5 pound line. Let's buy this and we'll just throw that on. I know it's too heavy for my rod, but big fish sure like these newts though. Oh, I used the wrong. I used I was using a Texas rig. Am I out of Texas rigs? I'm telling you, this is why I don't move the Texas rigs because it just breaks them. It breaks them, don't you know? <sighs> okay, well, I guess we're done using the new. Better move back to something different. I just can't think that there's there's a fish out there with 190 feet of line just dangling. Just dangling. Just dangling behind him. <laughs> that was hilarious. Hilariously terrible. Let's try a bass jig. Let's see here. Acid yellow brown. This here. We could throw a crawl on with it. I guess we do have. We could throw a newt onto the jig. There we got something. Bjorn. Look at my guy struggling to reel it in. That is awesome. Look how his hand's slowing down because he can't reel it in any further. I think my rod health just went from 48% to 47%, I want to say. Get in here. You're so close. Yeah, that's a good size largemouth. Well, 6.174 pound largemouth there. Very nice. 650 bucks. What do we get? A turtle? We caught a turtle! <laughs> Did we catch one right here? A little peacock here. Nice. At least we caught something. Cool. Well, we, we certainly tried it here. Let's move back to this area. We were doing pretty well here. Little peacock here. Whoa, flipped him. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Progress, progress. I think we might try putting the spinnerbait onto the bait casting rod because I think. Oh, got a trophy pe peacock there. Nice. Okay, so let's see here. Let's try putting a uh, spinnerbait on this. Nice. I wonder, do the red arrows mean that, like, you're just catching the same fish over and over again, so you're just losing XP, basically? The XP that you could make, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Advanced North Carolina license expired. Bro. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely gonna need... I think you... Oh, it's a largemouth. No, it's a peacock. I all of a sudden saw it and it looked it looked lighter colored and I thought it was a largemouth all of a sudden. But cool, another good sized peacock, $625 for four pounds. That's that's not bad at all. I'd say if you come here, first off, make sure you have 12 pound line um, because they'll pull you. I mean, if you end up getting a good one, they'll pull you right out. I mean, all your line will be gone. Um, so make sure you have 12 pound line, um, and then, man, just fish to your heart's content. I'll be interested to see how much money we make from this. Ooh, just went slack. Whoa, what a flip. <laughs> nice. A little three pound peacock. I think that's gonna do it. That's as close as we're gonna get. It's not gonna be matter. Not gonna matter too much more to catch another one. So anyway. I hope that gave you a little taste of the Everglades. If you're starting out, um, I hope 
um, you learn something about this 12 pound line pretty Im- you know important um, I've been putting 12 pound line on this pole even though it's set up for a maximum of 11.5 and uh, when I first started doing that we were at 48 percent and now we're at 46 percent a few hours in game later um, so yeah that's basically it 12 pound line come here Fish to your heart's content. I mean, it seems like the peacock are paying out pretty well. The largemouth, of course, once you're getting a trophy of those, uh, also paying out pretty well. Um, but yeah, that's it. I think anyway. I had a good time. We caught that. Uh, we caught that one gar. That was pretty cool as well. Catch that one gar. That was. Let's see. Where is it? Where are you? There he goes. There he is, right there. That Florida gar. That was pretty cool. I think anyway. Oh, do we have a three D view of it? Yes. Florida gar there very cool and then of course we have the uh, yeah the unique butterfly peacock bass there look at that dude freaking stunning freaking stunning man um, but yeah that's gonna wrap it up thank you all for watching I really appreciate it like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, yeah comment down below you know is there anything specific you want me to test out for you um, or you know let me know um, I'm just slowly progressing we're slowly progress it's a team activity you know that's why this is the beginner series I'm working through this all and you're probably working through it too if you're around the same level as me so uh, maybe I'm gonna be the one losing money and then you don't have to is is basically my goal but I, I hope you're enjoying this series I'm, I'm enjoying fishing plan I love that it, you actually have to put in the work to uh, get to places it really makes it pay off you know when someone says yeah I'm at, I'm level in the 50s you know that you know that's impressive you've put in a lot of time a lot of hard work to get there and that's really cool um, so yeah that's it thanks for watching everyone I've already said it once but I uh, said it again and uh, as always Keep gaming, never stop.